Today I'm going to transform this very basic but cute little storage unit for the bathroom into something so adorable. I just love it. I'm going to use some clay molds, some transfers, and some Dollar Tree supplies to make this transformation. So this needs some bin primer to start off with. We, there's a lot of knots here. I don't want any bleed through, especially because I'm painting it in white. So we need to seal it. I'll probably give it two coats. To prepare for working on this project, I made a whole bunch of clay flowers, birds, using IOD molds. I have Bird Song, He Loves Me, and Toadstool. So my little cabinet is primed and painted in white, so we're ready to get started. I'm going to use this tin tile from Dollar Tree, and I have Garden Marvels by Redesign Transfer that I'm going to put on the inside. So the beauty of having pre-made birds and flowers is you can play around with it and develop your project. It's a lot easier than working with clay flowers and you got to get them down. If you move them around too much, they start falling apart. So here I'm getting started and I'm trying to put the flowers in sort of a rambling fashion, kind of give some continuity that they're following some sort of line. We appreciate your support. Kindly hit like and subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. Thank you. I was really inspired by the anthropology furniture, particularly the enchantment dresser. And of course, once I saw that, I wanted to put molded clay flowers on everything. Just looking at the anthropology dresser again, I'm like, oh, I didn't put near enough flowers on. We need much, much more flowers. Because it is actually sort of a birdhouse style, I want to include a lot of birds on the unit as well. I love birds. So I decided to get some more flowers down, start moving down the piece in the front. So there's a few knots in this. I believe it's pine wood. I'm not certain, but I think so. And so I want to cover up the knots. And so I just, well, there's a damage here and there. So I'm just going to put a flower on top of it and cover it. And I have these cute little mushrooms from the toadstool mold. So I'm going to put those along the bottom. I have a variety of little molds off Amazon. I bought these little flowers and the smaller swallows and some woodland creatures. A few different variety of different molds. I will probably incorporate in here as well. Using these little branches I made. But honestly, I think it might be easier just to make my own branches. Because these get really brittle and kind of fall apart. It would probably be easier to make them, press them down firmly onto your unit and uh, that way they won't fall apart or warp at all. It's hard to get a good contact with a dry flower. This is supposed to be a fun project. I was like, okay, it's birdhouse. It's already fun. So I just want, don't want to be too serious on this piece and just add some cute little fun things like the swallows and the mushrooms and maybe even a little rabbit. So I got an idea. I'm gonna use a clay flower and put over the hole and then cut the hole into the center of the flower. So I'm like, I have to make a fresh one because you can't do this with a, a dry old flower. I'm not gonna make too many flowers because most are pre-made, but I'm gonna make one here for the, cover the hole. So you start off by filling your mold with cornstarch if you haven't done it before, and then put in your clay. It helps just to massage it a little bit and soften it up. And then you press it firmly into the mold. And you just kind of work it into the petals there and press down very firmly just to get a really good impression. So I just kind of work away at that. And then I like to use the spatula to go over the back before I take it out, just to flatten it and make it as flat as possible across the back. Then comes the most rewarding part, popping it out. Like, it's so pretty. And now we're just gonna plunk it down on top of the hole. And I have a little clay carving tool. You could probably even just use like a, a regular knife. So you just pop it over. And I use tight bond glue just to apply all my flowers. So I'm going to pick it off 
and just use a paintbrush and paint it on the back of the clay flower. Now you want to cover your entire surface right up to the tip of the petals and then firmly press it down on your project. And you don't press so hard as to leave an impression, you just want to make sure that there's contact. Well, I think that turned out pretty cute. Now we're going to paint uh, glue on the back of the bird and then press it down. And I found a little branch here, so I'm going to put that in his beak too. Tape on glue dries fairly quickly. It doesn't take that long. By the time I'm down to the bottom, this one will be firmly set already. Now you can see I set my project down on the back. So I don't have to worry about things sliding at all. Type on is pretty good, but it does make it a lot easier just to set it down. Otherwise you'd have to sit there and hold till it's set. I'm trying to keep in mind basic design elements like odd numbers. So maybe one butterfly, three swallows, things like that. I think I'm actually gonna go back after I glue this down and add more flowers. I don't think I'm quite there yet, but getting there. I should probably fiddle around a little bit more before gluing them down. I just kind of launched into it here rather quickly. But I do like what I have going on at the bottom. The butterfly and the mushrooms love those. Well, I'm just going to finish off gluing this side. We're going to flip it over and try a little something different on the other side. So I'm just kind of playing around here. I wanted to see if I could make this a little different or do an improvement what I did on the other side. I decided my scale of my flowers maybe could be a bit bigger. So just swap that out. It's nice to have them all pre-made and it just gives you that freedom to just try things out and don't be intimidated. It's kind of makes me feel a little odd that you're watching me work through my process here, but I wanted to show it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to experiment and try out your ideas. So it was just about here when I asked my daughter for her advice. I was feeling a little lost and I was like, I'm not loving how it's looking. Like the composition seems to be lacking. She suggested I should do groupings. Like I already started at the bottom and carry that through to the top. I'm like, yeah, you know, I like that. I was just getting a little too random and missing something. So I'm going to start by putting a, a big grouping of flowers and birds at the top. So I have new inspiration here again. So now I'm just going to put down more of the same flowers, so kind of keep them more similar. I think the continuity of having the same flower, I think is really helping. So I'm just going to put down a bunch of the same flower in varying sizes. Really helping to have the flowers pre-made, pre-painted, and then I can just move them around. You can make your flowers and set them down, but I find that this helps the creative process for me just to play around with it and see what looks good and move it around. You know, when you're doing a, a fresh clay flower, you can't move it around 20 times. So I'm finding the process a lot easier having pre-made flowers. I don't have a large mushroom pre-made. I have one of my painted ones here. And I was just like, you know, the scale needs to be larger and I need a little bunny in white too. So I need to make a bunny and I need to make a larger mushroom. And I just quickly glued down my freshly made flower and a big mushroom and I'm just going to give it a quick coat of paint. So I went back to the front because I'm just like, you know, I don't like the way I left it. I'm going to add a lot, probably double the flowers I had on there. So it's getting to be more of a, a wave of flowers all the way down the front. Loving that. And I'm paying a little more attention to the negative space to see what does that look like. So that's giving me a real sense of direction on the placement of the flowers. So half my flowers are already set and the other ones aren't. So I just have to go around and touch them all and find out what's glued down. You can see it's starting to develop into a real natural kind of wave all the way up the front of the unit. Well, this gives you a bit of sense of the overview of the first two sides. And next time, if there was a next time, I would start on the side and do the front door last. Because this is sort of an experiment and you kind of get your ideas flowing a bit better as your project goes on. So 
just a suggestion, if you do a project similar to this, do the front door, the front face last uh, after you've got your ideas fully developed. And now I'm just going to apply the ceiling tile. I got this from Dollar Tree. So just kind of laying it against, I'm just going to cut it. I like the gray color, so I'm just going to leave it the color it comes in. So it has an adhesive back, so I'm just going to press it down on the roof and then on along the peak of the ceiling or the roof, I should say, it just give it a little pinch and then it will bend along the crease. Well, this worked great. Uh, it matched up perfectly. I'm like, I only used one tile and had extra, so I'm pretty happy with that. And it seems to be coming apart there a little bit from the backing, so I'm just going to use a little hot glue to fasten everything down. Well, this is the first time I've ever done transfer. Can you believe it? I'm kind of surprised myself. Anyway, I saw this be the light and I'm like, oh, well, how cute is that? I'm going to put that on the inside of the door. Well, they did provide a little stick. I couldn't see it until I was done, <laughs> but it was actually there. But anyway, we're just going to rub it down with one of my carving tools and uh, it worked out pretty good. I wanted to put bird stuff inside my little shelves, so I found this little, there's a little bird nest and an egg, and then I'm going to put a little bird at the bottom. Well, I love how these turned out. It's so cute. Well, I love how this transformation came together. It was a little bit of an experiment, and I think it worked out great. I'm pretty pleased with the result in the end, and I'll be keeping this one in my guest bathroom and I hope you like it okay so I had to try a little bird in the hole <laughs> and well I took a boat after it was a little too cheesy but kind of cute anyway I'll show a few pictures of the finished results here I hope you enjoyed my video if you have some comments on what I put together I'd love to hear from you thanks for taking the time to write it really does help our channel when you add comments so thanks so much